lovely. He didn't like it? I don't know. Did he not like it? Uh, he laughed. Well, he must have liked it then. So what we have tonight is really an effort to celebrate a major achievement of political writing. That we have someone who is focused, as did Jesus, on the most vulnerable, on the other. And he's done it in a way that is compelling. He's done it in a way that cannot be ignored. And it is a reminder, once again, of how valuable Chris Hedges is and how lucky we are to have him as, he hates me for me to use the word, but indeed to have him as a prophetic thinker. Chris Hedges. Thank you, Sonali and Blaze and Bob. Um, those are certainly three of the journalists I admire and respect most uh, in the United States. Uh, so I'm very touched. Uh, and I'm always touched to speak in a church, despite my own troubled relationship with the Presbyterian Church. Uh, I was a Presbyterian seminarian at Harvard. Uh, but felt, as my father who was, as Bob said, a minister, that I was called to write uh, rather than lead a congregation. And when I uh, graduated, you're approved for ordination before you go to seminary. Um, I had to meet with my committee and tell them what my call was and, uh, in order to be ordained. And I remember when the committee asked me what my call was. I told them I was going to go to Central America as a freelance reporter and cover the war in El Salvador. There was a long silence and the head of the committee said, we don't ordain journalists. Uh, so that was the end of my relationship with the Presbyterian Church.